today I'm just going to talk about our lab and changes that we've made um, and then we'll go over pregnancy rates and I'm going to go all the way back to uh, 2013. Uh, this is, believe it or not, our first seminar in Vegas was in 2013. For those of you that came, it was on September 14th, 2013 and after the seminar, it was at ARIA, we watched the uh, Canelo Mayweather fight. Uh, so it's been over uh, 11 years, and uh, I know Dr. Fuzuni was there, Dr. Gomez, uh, and others. So it's, uh, it's been 11 years since we started uh, doing this. Um, so we'll be talking about the lab, uh, our outcomes, and I'll briefly talk about PCOS and, um, and insulin resistance. Um, and the, the global genetic screening, uh, that's, there will be a 10-minute lecture or a 10-minute presentation tonight at dinner five to ten minutes, so that's, uh, that's for uh, later. Uh, okay, so the laboratory changes, for those of you that were here last year, we said we're doing, you know, we made a big effort during the pandemic, during when we shut down, uh, when the, all labs in the country were, were uh, closed, we began renovating in the lab and kind of you know, tearing it down and uh, starting over with uh, structure and, and machinery. So we used 2020 and 2021 to rebuild the lab, which it was a kind of a golden opportunity in that we were closed. We didn't have you know, patients uh, you know, by uh, ASRM guidelines, and uh, we, that was our opportunity to rebuild it. Uh, at the last meeting, I presented all the changes that we made, including uh, perfecting our IVF lab, creating the perfect clean rooms, uh, adding life air for, uh, filtration systems, you know, sophisticated sterilization system. We perfected our central humidity. Uh, we have 10 uh, new HVAC systems only in that I, uh, um, surgery center IVF lab. And uh, we have 16 HIPAA filters in addition to the uh, air life filtration system and ultraviolet lights, um, uh, ultraviolet uh, filters. We also um, perfected our positive and negative pressure and every three months we have a mechanical engineer who comes in and makes all the adjustments. Um, we did other uh, items, one of them w came in at the right time. We re-roofed the, the building twice and the last re-roofing happened right before the hurricane. So thank God we did not have any, uh, uh, I know hurricane in, in Palm Springs doesn't make much sense, but that's what happened. At the hospital across the street from us, I mean, they really couldn't function. They were leaking everywhere from the, from the rain and so did Eisenhower, but we really had no effect on our lab. So uh, that was uh, perfect timing. We changed all the floors, uh, all the duct systems, all the insulation, um, and um, in addition to, to all of that, we uh, purchased new advanced incubators, um, and we even changed the micro manipulators, which you don't really need to do, but we wanted just the best outcome uh, for our uh, embryologists and uh, for our patients. Uh, new laser system. At the last meeting, we said an independent uh, contractor came in and they said the total uh, VOCs, volatile compounds in the lab total was 20, you know, less than 100 is considered good. We lowered it um, since the last meeting to less than eight uh, PPBVs. And as a matter of fact, the contractor said this, they've never seen a lab so clean and so perfect. So we're, we're getting to the point that I want it to be where we could really um, have phenomenal uh, pregnancy rates, uh, not just uh, in Southern California, but at the international level, we have really big plans. Um, we hired, uh, I'm sorry, somebody's, no, I'm hearing things again. <laughs> so um, we brought back the embryologist that we've had. Dr. Rahil has been with me for uh, 17, 18 years and uh, I have a confession to make when, uh, when I send you guys late text messages telling you that the patient did not get pregnant. That is intentional harassment. So uh, I, just <laughs> I just want you to know how, uh, you know how I feel for that day. So, um, so uh, consider that a, a blanket apology. <laughs> uh, but we have uh, three additional embryologists. Hank, who's been doing this for how many years, Hank? 30 years? 29 years. And then Dr. Rahil, he's been doing it from the beginning. Cameron, 15, 18 years. And Susan is the pioneer in the IVF world. She's responsible for the first ICSI pregnancy in the Middle East, correct me if I'm wrong. And she, there's publications on her, uh, on her first TESI also in the, in the Middle East. So we're dealing with really experienced, seasoned embryologists. And obviously, um, I wouldn't have four embryologists if I didn't have big plans for the near future. Um, yeah, the embryologists were kind of, 
The embryologists were troubled by me uh, saying that they need to change scrubs every time they leave uh, the lab. So um, they're obviously not aware of the new uh, uh, outfit that I that they'll be using after the new year. Does any do you all watch Breaking Bad? Yeah. Okay. So um, <laughs> well, I think it's the best show on Netflix. But anyway, okay. So this could be our next um, uh, outfit for the lab. But let's see. 